Hello and welcome to the Elimination Chamber 2024 predictions. I'm liking this uh, this four match card we got recently for the WWE pay per views. We had Royal Rumble, which was four matches. Now we got Elimination Chamber four matches. AEW take freaking notes. I don't want ten matches on my damn pay per view. So let's kick it off right now. Uh, of course, this is going to take place in Australia. So for me, this is at like, I don't know, two in the morning or something. Um, yeah, that's going to be fun. I ain't staying up to watch that, though. So, uh, yeah, this will be when I wake up. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be on a bit of a delay. But, you know, it's just the same time every time I watch a New Japan event. You know, it's just whenever I wake up, I'll watch it. Just try and stay away from spoilers. By the way, we have Rhea Ripley defending the uh, Women's World Championship against Nia Jax. It's Rhea Ripley, uh, obviously. Uh, they're not going to have her lose, especially to Nia Jax in Australia. There, there's no way they're doing that, especially when we all know what uh, her match is going to be at WrestleMania. So this is obviously just another roadblock for her that she's easily going to overcome, prove how much strong she is. And Rhea Ripley is going to beat Nia Jax. So speaking of Rhea Ripley and her Women's World Championship, let's move on to the Elimination Chamber match where the winner will face Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. It is Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan versus Tiffany Stratton versus Naomi versus Raquel Rodriguez. Now Raquel's spot was supposed to be Jade Cardgill, but they realized we can't do that because then Jade Cardgill has to take a loss. So let's not do that. And instead, Raquel Rodriguez took her spot, won the Battle Royal. I'm happy for Raquel. You know, they're, they're giving her the, the little rub here. Uh, obviously, she's not winning. But it's nice that they're actually using Raquel. Because I haven't seen her in freaking forever since I've restarted watching WWE. I haven't seen her at all. So seeing her get, like, you know, a little something is good. And she was, you know, she was fine in NXT. So, you know, it's nice to see her get bit of a rub here uh this is becky lynch becky lynch is winning there there's no doubt it's becky lynch versus rhea ripley at wrestlemania and i think we're all okay with that i had becky winning the rumble and she didn't so that disappoints me so hopefully becky you don't go disappointing me a second time and uh you know we can get the uh, Rhea Ripley Becky Lynch match at WrestleMania. So I got Becky Lynch winning here. We have the Judgment Day of Finn Balor and Damian Priest defending their undisputed tag team titles against. Uh, well, it says New Catch Republic is their name, but to me they will be British Strong Style. British Strong Style is that's what they are. Uh, of Pete Dunne Tyler Bate, I did not expect Pete Dunne Tyler Bate to get this opportunity, but I'm happy they are. Uh. Good for both boys. They are awesome. Uh, Judgment Day is winning. They are not losing to these two. Um, I, now, what I always thought was going to happen was I thought we were, we were going to do another tag team chamber match. And I thought we would have had, you know, Judgment Day versus, um, versus New Day versus Imperium. So Imperium and New Day can have their little scuffle in the chamber, keep that feud going. And then... Uh, it would have been Legato, so Humberto and Angel Garza, and LWO, Joaquin Wild and Cruz del Toro, so then that feud can continue inside the chamber. And then for the final team, it would have been for me either DIY uh, or the Awesome Truth, Miz and Our truth because that adds uh, the Judgment Day then have directly have someone to go after. That's what I thought would have been a good Elimination Chamber match for the tag titles. Judgment Day obviously would have retained, but then from that, you could have uh, a new feud for them from the Chamber. And, you know, it, it, it carries on every story. The New Day and Imperium storyline continues. Uh, the LWO Legato feud continues. And we get more continuation for Judgment Day and whoever they want to feud with on Raw. So I felt that that was the perfect, you know, thing to book. But we're just not doing that, I guess. Uh, we're just going to say, screw all that. They're going to face someone they've had no confrontation with whatsoever uh but yeah the judgment day are retaining the titles and then in what's probably gonna be the main event the elimination chamber match to determine who will face seth rollins for the world heavyweight championship it is 
Bobby Lashley versus Randy Orton versus LA Knight versus Drew McIntyre versus Kevin Owens versus Logan Paul. Uh, to me, this can be two people. Um, this is this is down. This one, I think we have a bit more wiggle room to work with. There's two people I can see winning, but there's one I see winning over the other, and that's what I'm going to go with, which is Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre's my boy. I love Drew McIntyre so much. Uh, and I'm glad to see people are liking the heel character he's going through. Um, I I love that CM Punk. I need that shirt, man. I need the CM Punk hopes and dreams shirt that he did. It's just be the meme. Drew's character is literally just with CM Punk. is literally the scene from Spongebob where it's like, here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. What a baby. That's Drew and CM Punk right now. Uh... So yeah, Drew McIntyre is who I see winning this. The mo like he's the one I can most likely see winning this chamber, and good for him. He should. Hopefully, he takes the belt off Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Uh, the other person I can see is L.A. Knight winning this, and we finally give L.A. Knight that world title at WrestleMania. I think everyone would be okay with that. But what I think is going to happen is L.A. Knight is probably if he's going to win a belt at WrestleMania, it's probably going to be Logan Paul's U.S. title, and this in this chamber match could set that up. Logan Paul and LA Knight get into a bit of it, and uh, that sets up their match at WrestleMania. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Those are my picks for the Elimination Chamber. Uh, thank God, four matches, man. Oh, it's so nice. It's it's so nice just to see a, a short match card. Oh, I love it. Anyway, uh, what are your picks? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with my picks? If so, uh, that's great. Tell me why. And if you don't, tell me why and let me know your picks. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.